Hey guys, tonight we're gonna make some quick refrigerator pickles, like a fresh pack, and they are good. Sure to make you pucker. Let's get going. This is basically all you're gonna need for your quick refrigerator pickles. I've got two large, these are the greenhouse cucumbers or whatever, because fresh cucumbers aren't really in season where we're at. A couple jars, this is just a regular canning jar, and this is just an old sauerkraut jar. Some sugar. Um, the recipe I found online uh, said white vinegar, but I had apple cider vinegar, so that's what I've been using in mine. I used some coarse kosher salt and a little bit of garlic salt. And then I buy these packages of dill because there isn't fresh dill yet. I can't wait till we have fresh cucumbers and fresh dill. It's just these packages and you find them, sorry for the reflection, you find them in the produce department. Usually hanging above the lettuce or somewhere like that. So I found a recipe online, but it had a bunch of things that I just didn't have in the house. And so to simplify, I just used what I had and they've turned out pretty good. Haven't gotten any complaints. Actually, I got a lot of compliments on them. So they're real simple, you'll see. Okay, oh, there's a dark spot here, so I got rid of that. I'm just gonna chop up our cucumbers here. Take the ends off, because sometimes the ends can tend to have a bitter taste. Get rid of those. This is more on the cooking at the cabin episode, so that's why I'm in a different environment, and that's why I might have to make shift with a bunch of different things here. I did forget to tell you that you're also going to need water, cold water. So I will post the recipe though up on the screen. I kind of cut them kind of thick. Because as they stay in the jar longer, they'll get a little bit softer. If you eat them quick, they stay nice and crunchy, and they stay pretty crunchy. But like any pickle, after it sets in the brine for a while, it starts to soften up. So I kind of keep them kind of thick. Usually I do them this way. You can do them long ways too and pack them in a jar, like in spears. I did that too. However you want to eat them is how you should slice them. Those two cucumbers filled up these jars, and they're pretty loose pack, but I just divide them up so they're not too tight, and when you put the brine in, it can get around all the pickles. Hopefully with one batch of brine, we'll have enough brine to cover all the pickles in both of these jars. We'll see. So now we're gonna make our brine. Now, sorry for the angle. I explained what's going on in my, who am I, why did I start a YouTube channel, and where have I been video. So we're going to do our brine here, and I, I don't have my tripod, so I have this awkward angle here, but bear with me. We need one and a quarter cups of this apple cider vinegar. And I measured it out last night, and I had enough so hopefully it's still the same today. Don't know why I wouldn't be, but it's looking like we're gonna come close here. Look at that, just enough. Whoops, sorry. Just enough, can you believe that? What are the odds? My salt also ended up that way. Then we're gonna do two and a half tablespoons, to make sure I got you in frame here, of this salt. There is one. Oh, that's awesome. Two. Now we're just gonna kind of eyeball what a half is here. Uh, let's see, that's about a half. So two and a half, 
of the coarse kosher salt. And now we're going to do our half a tablespoon of the garlic salt. They don't give you a half paper tablespoon measurement, do they? No. So we're just going to kind of guess at this too. That looks like about a half to me. We put it on its side. So we got that. To that, we're going to add our two tablespoons of sugar. And then we're going to add our two cups of cold water. Oops, there's one cup. There's two cups. And we're gonna start stirring it up to get all that salt and sugar dissolved as good as we can. This is so simple. There's no need to even heat this. I'm just gonna stir it, maybe even let it set a little if it takes that to get things dissolved. And then we're gonna pour it over our pickles. But before we do that, we're going to add our dill. Okay. I don't know if this is pre-washed, so I'm gonna rinse it. And we're gonna take about half of this package. I'm gonna take about that much, because it's only a couple jars, and that's probably way overboard on that, but I like dill. So we're gonna go rinse that, and I'll bring it back. I'm gonna take these really long stems off. You don't have to, but I do. And I just kind of break it up. Put it in there, put a little in the jars. You can see that. In that jar. I mean, it gets in there anyways. Makes it float around. And I probably go, like I said, way overboard with this, but I love dill. It smells so good. It smells like summer. There we go. I'm going to stir some more. It's going to be great when the gardens are being harvested and we can get fresh cucumbers and fresh dill. Mm. Gotta love summer. See, that's starting to dissolve pretty good. Get my sugar out of the way. It's amazing how good it does dissolve without being heated. Maybe it's the vinegar that breaks it down. I don't know. The stuff still floating, I think, is like the other seasoning in the garlic salt. I'm not sure what this, this isn't like just regular garlic powder. And of course, the best thing to put in would probably be cloves of garlic. But I told you, I just use what I have on hand. I make my life easier that way. This has salt, garlic, cornstarch, sugar, parsley, carrot for color. I don't know, but it's like chunky. It's not like a fine garlic salt. We use it a lot <laughs> in a lot of different recipes. Okay, I think we're good to go. Got it all stirred up. I'm gonna try to pour this into the jars without making too much of a mess and trying to get it easy, evenly distributed. Hold off some of that dill and maybe separate it. Try to do it evenly. Yeah, I 
probably overdid it on the dill, but oh well. My pickles, when they're yours, you can make them however you want, right? So now I'm gonna wipe off these lids. Not that you need to worry about anything sealing properly. It's not like regular canning. Just don't want them to be all sloppy when I put them away. Plenty of these are really good, folks. And look at how simple. You don't need to wait months for them to be done. Now you could eat some of these later and they would start tasting pretty good, pretty fast. But of course, the longer they set, the more they're gonna soak up the flavors. But they are tasty even the very same day you make them just because of the brine. But um, of course, in a day or two, they're even better. And then the longer they set, they become a little softer and more flavorful. I like them fresher though, and they don't last long around here because my hobby is a pickle fiend. I have to put them under lock and key a lot. Aren't you, babe? He's not listening to me right now. But I do this, I don't really shake them, I just try to get the brine. It's all that nice, yummy stuff floating in there, yum. I wish you could smell them, they smell so good. And there you go. I gotta stick them in the fridge now. Get them nice and chill. Pull them out and snack. The longer they set in those jars too, they will make you pucker. They got some zip to them and they are good. I told you they were simple folks. I think you're gonna love them. Give them a try. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.